Good morning. My name is Karen. We are outside the studio at Curse Hall at WMFO radio station. And we're just about ready to talk to some DJs. Hello, this is Jimmy here, and I'm here at WMFO Freeform Radio, 91.5 FM on your dial at Tufts College in Medford, Massachusetts. And I'm here with... Lyle Allen. And Mike Conway. And uh, we are doing a thing on college radio, and uh, my question is, how long have you two been doing it? Um, We've been working together since 2009. Uh, And I've been with the station since 2006. So um, tell us about the format of your show. Well, what we do, our show is called Classic Rock Mine, and what we do is we play classic rock music that you wouldn't hear anywhere else. So the stuff that you hear on our show, you won't hear on commercial radio. You'll just hear it here on WMFO. And so how did you get into looking for obscure stuff? Well, I really, really like classic rock, and I own a lot of records, and I found that a lot of the records I owned weren't getting played by the stations I listened to. So I thought, why not become a DJ myself? That way I get to play whatever I want. And that's, that's sort of how it came about. I brought a couple of my favorite uh, LPs from home. This first one is called Electric Mud. It was an album by Muddy Waters in 1968. And it has this wonderful picture of Muddy Waters dressed in a toga with his electric guitar. This is a Johnny Winter album. I just love the cover of this album. This is the album that has the song, I'd Love to Change the World. Oh yeah. Which is my favorite song of all time. Status Quo, I like this album cover because it's all the guitarists lined up. <laughs> and they've all, you know, obviously they've all got long hair. Mm-hmm. Savoy Brown, I just like this because it's got a creepy album cover. Sweet, this is the first record I ever bought. How did you get into radio? Wow, I originally got into radio when I was in college. Um, I needed to do something extracurricularly, something outside of my studies. And there was a college radio station. It wasn't the college I went to, but there was a neighboring college. And I signed up and became a DJ. And I did a show from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. on Friday mornings because no one else wanted that time <laughs> slot. And that's how I got my start. It, did it, was it the same style or different? It was basically the same style. I basically have always played obscure classic rock on my radio shows. So how did you get into some of this stuff? Um, Well, my background's in television and news and radio. I did radio in in, uh, college, and I also worked in news for a while, and I was always the person that always wanted to cover the stuff no one else wanted to cover. So this is kind of a perfect outlet for me. I'm finally getting to cover those crazy Uh. stories (laughs) no one else wants to touch. So how do you feel like being a team, you two? I love working with Mike. Um, We originally... Um, connected. Uh, he had been wanting to start a sketch comedy troupe. Um, when we couldn't find other people that wanted to get involved, he graciously offered for me to come on the show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the show, I mean, you've, you've listened to the show. The, yeah. show. the show is not the same when Lyle isn't on. Right. It's, it's I... much mellower, it's slower, <laughs> it's not as, it's just not, there's not as much energy. <laughs> so I really, I really value uh, Lyle's role and what she's brought to uh, to the program because I think it's made it a much better show. Slade, Slade was a popular hard rock band in the UK, but they never really got any airplay in the United States. Pink Floyd's first album. This is a Welsh band called Man, and they took uh, the image of a humor magazine called Mad Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they, had, they had the same artist who did the Mad Magazine out, Mad Magazine covers do their album cover, and it's a guy trying to play a fish, <laughs> which is just kind of silly. Yeah. Yeah. So, what, tell us some of the countries that you that you that you play in from your show. Wow. Okay. Well, a lot of stuff from the U.S. and Canada and uh, England. Other than that, Germany, Hungary. Uh, Argentina, a lot of Argentina. There was a big classic rock scene in Argentina in the early 70s where if you went down to Argentina, you'd know these bands, but they never got airplay in the US. They never made it up here. Mm. So um, that's, a, that's a good place. Uh, where else? Japan. Japan. Uh, Sweden. Sweden, Australia, New Zealand. Uh, I think I've played stuff from Iceland. 
You played Peru. Peru? Yeah, I just played Peru. Uh, was it last week or the week Yeah, before? it was last week. Last yeah. Week. And uh, like, what's some of your what's some of like the familiar bands like Deep Songs? Do you like? Oh wow. Well, I'm a big fan of Deep Purple, so I'll play a lot of songs from Deep Purple that aren't singles. So they're songs that you wouldn't hear on the radio, um, but I'll play them on my show. Um, who else? The Animals. I'm a very big Eric Burden and the Animals fan, and they put out a ton of albums, but everybody knows their hit songs. But for every hit song, there's another nine songs on the album. Yeah. Those are the ones I want to try to play. Yeah. The other nine. Black Oak, Arkansas. I like this because it's another good cartoon cover. That's cute. And high, high the hog. High on the hog, and they're sitting on a giant pig. <laughs> <laughs> so that's. <laughs> Bachman Turner Overdrive. Um, this is a listen to the show. It's Saturday nights on WMFO from 9 to 11. Classic Rock Mine. I hope you tune in to some interesting radio. Until that next time, peace out, brothers and sisters. <laughs>